Welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to do something a little different. And my first video using it is using this Forescan application. Uh, it's free for the computers. You have to pay for it for your phone or tablet. I don't know how much it is. And then all you have to do is buy this adapter. And then I did have to download the, the firmware sort of deal onto the adapter itself. But I figured with this truck in here, with the time I have on it, I just need to do a gasket, I think. Uh, I'm going to start with the gasket and move on from there, but uh, I figured we'd try the new scanner out. So, you plug it in, and the key is on, engine off, key is on the on position, and then you plug it in, and let's see if I can move this. So, you can basically see where it picked up the 6.4 back here, and then it does a scan, uh, TCM good, PCM good, uh, code in the PCM whatever it does all these things and then it'll come up if you want to save the profile and I do just in case I end up scanning this thing again and then here we are so now I'm gonna to go to read the DTCs and it'll show you all of your codes and all the modules and what could be going on with them now it has two PCM codes a P2263FF and Turbocharger, supercharger, boost system performance. Now, this is why he brought it in here, because it the truck does not make boost. Now you can you can hear and you can actually see and feel the exhaust leaving by the where the manifold meets the up pipe. Uh, that gasket seems to have failed, or the either the manifold or the up pipe might be warped in some way, and it's not. Uh, not sealing properly. So I'm going to guess this is something related to that. Uh, sometimes if there's a notable fix, they'll say it here. And this next one is P1000FF. Now, onboard diagnosis, OBD, systems readiness test not complete, module power control module diagnosis trouble code details, OBD systems readiness test not complete. I don't know what that deal is but now we're going to move on to this malfunction is confirmed that's just telling you that your turbo is not working and then four by four transfer case two wheel drive solenoid circuit open or short to ground so we're gonna probably when i pull it inside we'll look underneath see if there's a ground strap uh not hooked up or not tight or rusted or what have you and then none, none, HVAC, B1003-20, uh, mode door circuit failure, previously set, so this is not a, no longer a, an issue, uh, this has previously, where this one says, I guess it doesn't say active, it, uh, some of these will say, like with the 6.0 I just, I just did, it said, uh, it's always, it's always there. Now, this is previous. I think when you first open the application too, it'll give you for the B and then there's a U as well. I think one of those, it just means previous, like it's not, not a big deal anymore. Then everything else is none. So this is the only thing that we're worried about. This is the reason why this truck is in here. Uh, not because of the code itself, but because this truck does not build boost. Um, as you guys saw with the little drive video, and then here you can basically double click and you can get all your all your sensors and stuff. Um, now he did say he did the exhaust uh, back pressure sensor. So why don't we throw one of those on here? If I can find it. Engine oil, engine gas temp. A lot of EGR stuff. Now this is back to the diesel particulate filter. I don't care about that. I don't know. Maybe we'll just keep going. Variable fan. Fuel pumps. Fuel systems. All your generators of some sort. Plugs. Intake. Injectors. Mass airflow. Uh, misfires, you can kind of do everything, you can read 
pretty much whatever you want. And this is the free version. There is an extended whatever that they offer that I got to look into a little more because I think the more I look around, the more I'm going to want to look at that. Now, I do want to see the, the variable. And then when you double click it, it'll come over here. And that'll show up. And you can double click as many as you want to add. Measure percent close. Might as well do that. And then what else do I want for now? Let's just read that. Then you press the plus button, or the check mark rather, and it'll set them here. And then when you want to actually start logging it, you press the start live data. And then, so let's read these. Start right up, no issues. Engine sounds healthy on these. Now let's press play. No fault, 95%. So I think that is 95% closed as well, um, because one of the things was percent closed. Um, now, that could be because, maybe because it's not there's not enough air pressure, it doesn't need to be open. So pretty much how the variable works is when there's low air, it basically closes it, so you boost faster. And then as you ramp into the RPMs and push more air through, it opens up wide and gives you all the boost you need now it makes sense for it to be close especially where this truck doesn't build boost at all i wouldn't be surprised if it's around this 94 range 95 range the whole way driving it because it doesn't move on the on the gauge at all so that's all i want to look for there for now let's move on i'm going to shut it off just leave it into the on position and not actually starting it now let's do a key on engine off Demand self-test. Did I press stop? Didn't. Stop it. There we go. Back to the test down here. And let's do a test. Ensure parking brake is on. Sure, dude. You're good and you're happy now. Oil light. How do I move this thing? 50 miles to empty. Yeah, whatever. I'll figure that one out later. Now, you probably can't hear it. You can hear it click. And it's 48% done. It's basically just activating the electric side, I think, of the injector, the way this one works. Um, you can really hear them on the 7.3, doing the whole buzz test. Now that the self-test is done, let's run a different one. Now let's show your log of what you've been doing, your DTCs if some show up, and then let's do a key on engine off, injector self test, now just make sure, and if you want to know what you're doing, you can press the little help button, it'll let you run everything. It'll kind of tell you what's going on, I guess, but so just for a little run by, but K O E O means uh, key on engine off and K O E R means key on engine running. Just for those who don't um, never seen it yet. So you don't excellently do what, you know, the wrong thing, but so you can kind of hear it all the injectors buzzing. I'm going to hope you can, I guess. Well, I'm going to hope you heard that buzzing. Now we're back at 100%. Uh, Everything checks out, which is a good sign. And then that's in your log. No DTCs. Let's move back to a test. And what else do you want to run? How about... Ah, uh, no, everything else is fine. Those are just your base stuff you want to test. And uh, now you can really tell what the 7.3 is because they're loud. And uh, with the 7.3, with that ambulance at least, it did one at a time. 
um, you can kind of hear everyone's sound. So if you hear one that's obviously having issues, um, and it'll probably show up with a code. But I just want to go through this and show you guys Forescan, and we'll we'll see you. And we'll probably this will be a pretty routine thing um, moving forward to test vehicles. Now it just it gives pretty much endless opportunity to fix some stuff, but. Um, just want to give you a little intro to Forescan, see if you know, anybody can learn anything from it. But uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see next and if this helped you at all. And I'll see you in another video.